uh, Alex is cooking and let, let me mute. What's that, Peter? I'll, I'm going to mute because I'm on the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get off the phone. Okay. Hey, man. Hi. How's it going? Can you hear me? Uh huh. Okay. So I'm going to pull up the agenda. Okay. I'm here too. I'll be back the in the screen. <laughs> That's the plan. Okay. If I can find it on here. No, that's the wrong agenda. <laughs> <laughs> too many agendas. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. I have to get some water too because my Throat's dry, so I'll be back. Yep, I'm just sitting. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm pulling Good. up the agenda. I can't um, see it this week. I don't know what the problem is. So I'm just calling on the phone. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, I know. It's just weird. Yeah. Were you able to get uh, your rotary meetings to work okay? No, we did not for the last two weeks. So then um, Thursday night of this week, not this week, on a different day this week, Jeff had a rotary one that said it gave you the user, the phone number to call in. It gave you a user number and then a password. So mm -hmm. I did that here, but I didn't have a password. And he was able to listen and hear. But um, no, and, and everyone says, well, just download it. But I know we didn't do that for this last time, and I didn't do it for the first rotary. So hmm. what's changed? I'm not sure. Weird. Yeah. Well, no, you can um, choose no password. Yeah, well, if yes, the... and I went on. Yep, and that's how I got on the phone. Well, that's something. Yeah, I know. It's annoying, I'll tell you. Because <laughs> it's, a, it's a really new computer. Mm. And so I got it up it there, Alex? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got the um, agenda up on the screen all by myself. <laughs> Good job. Hi, yeah. everybody. Hello. Hi, Peter. Hi. Who else is Hi, there? Hi, Peter. Hi, everybody. Valerie Butch goes here. Hi, Gally. Hey, no Val. Valerie. No picture for Galler, uh, Valerie? No. Whew. Hey, everybody. There's Sandy. Hi. Hello. Sandy, how are you? Hi, Sandy. Hey, Alex. Who's on the phone? Uh... Diane's on the phone. Okay. And Valerie. And Valerie, yeah. Hey, Alex, you can go into that little three thing and write their name, put their names in there if you want. You could rename yeah. them. Whoever's hosting, I don't know who's hosting. Oh, yeah. And, I am. Uh, How do I do that? Yeah, you I can go, go into that. manage participants. Nope, nope, nope. Go up to that little blue dots in the, on their screen. Oh, I like, can do that too even though I'm not hosting. I can't get it to hide non-video participants. But anyway, Angela, so in their little block, you know where it says iPhone? No. I got it. Oh, you found yeah, it? you did it. There you go. I don't see it either. I've been a Zoom nutcase lately. I'll be right back. Are you, you are going to start in like five minutes, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to mute myself. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, too. Okay. <laughs> I should probably get a glass of water so I'm not coughing or anything during this because we don't want people thinking we got the Rona. That's right. 
I don't think you cough. I think you have a fever, dear. I hope not. And fever people don't just cough. <laughs> Hello, is everybody? Hi. Good. Hi, it's Marty. Hi, Marty. Oh, Hi, Marty. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm hanging in, but staying good. warm. Yeah. Good day today. It was a great day today. Who was you working outside? No, we walked to the state park and we went around one of the circles where people camp. Then we went up the terrible, long, muddy green trail and then all the way home. We figured we were about a mile and a half. So wow. we had a nap this afternoon. <laughs> that makes sense. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Well, up, up where I live, it snowed today. <laughs> and it was cold. snowed at my yeah. house, too. Yeah, yeah, me too. I think it's snowing every day. Yeah. Hope it doesn't snow in the summer. I hope not. <laughs> so who are we missing? Uh, Kristen. Um, Connie, Mike. I think. Who do we, do we have? have, we have I think we do. We have Sandy, Marty, Diane, me. Val. Valerie. Val and Deb. So we have a quorum. Why don't we just wait a few minutes? Hey, Deb. Hi. Oh. <clears throat> we just need the. Uh, person to take notes. I'm here. Oh, Kristen's here. Oh, good. Okay. Seven participants. Oh, well, then we have a quorum. Well, I don't know, because Alex and I are here. No, yeah, I you got five. Yeah. Cool. So let's see. Who do we have? We have Peter, Valerie, Sandy, Deb. Deb. And Kristen. And Marty. And Marty. And Marty. Okay, we're doing okay. <clears throat> Why don't we wait just a couple more minutes? It's one minute, six thirty. Well, before we start, what should I be doing with my um yeah, my uh petition with my signatures? I have I still actually need to get two, but I can get them, but um, can I, when I get them, can I just put them in an envelope and put them in like the book drop or? Yes. I'm that's probably, fine. I know I'm past the date, but I think. No, it, that's fine. The date's changed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. That's oh, fine. Yes. Looks like somebody else just joined the meeting. Mm -hmm. No, I got kicked off and I dialed back in. Oh, oh, all right. oh I back. said hi, Marty, and said you were there. Mm hmm. Oh, I see Connie. Whoops, what happened? Something happened with me. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, hear you there. I lost something here. What do I have to hit? I got a blank screen. Uh-oh. Um, I'm not sure. Is it just totally black? No, it's blank. It says zoom on it. Here I'm a both zoom and I must have hit something. Hmm. We can see your picture. I can't yeah. see you can see my picture? Yeah. You might, if you can't, can't see the uh, agenda anymore, you I might can't see the exit. agenda. What did I do? You might have to exit and re enter the meeting. Is there a refresh button? Hmm. Oh, Ovechkin's like, crazy. Well, he's got it overtime. Well, three ones. He's like, oh, hit the side of the net, grab his box. Oh, three one, one, three up. Oh, three one, one, three up. One thing I've um, 
Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to log off and go back on. I don't know what happened. Okay. Does somebody have a television on or? Yeah, I was, I was just going to say that um, in some other Zoom meetings I've been doing, we've been instituting a, uh, everyone mutes themselves unless yeah. they want to talk so that if there's right. any sound noise, it doesn't come through. And I know my boyfriend's making egg salad in the background, so I don't know if you can hear that, for instance. Um, but um, if everybody mutes themselves and then just unmute when the meeting starts, okay, here I am. Off, um, that would I be back. good. So that's what I'm going to do. How do you find that on the iPhone? Um, I am not sure. If you tap on the screen, maybe it'll bring up options. Yeah, I was going to say, I just tapped on my screen and a menu came down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK, cool. <laughs> How do I get? I can see the, OK, I got it now. I got you the agenda. The Why don't we get going? Want to get going? Yeah. OK, welcome, everybody. Before we get going, and there's no public comment, I would presume. What I would like to do before we get going is I would like to thank everybody who's been working during this this um, challenging time. Angela, Alex, Sarah, Melissa, and all the other people in the staff who are just doing so much great stuff, so much say. Uh, communication and offering the uh, our patrons so much stuff online. Uh, we just want to let everybody know that that we're appreciative of all the work you've done. It's been a challenge. Uh, the Zoom thing. I know Alex has been working on some Zoom stuff and other stuff. Sarah's been working on stuff. I read their reports. I just want to let us know. I think we need to really thank them and Angela for keeping us all keeping this place going. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't we wouldn't be going, and the services we're providing wouldn't be there. So I just want to, at the beginning, thank everybody. Thank you, Peter. Having said hey. that, is there any additional items to the agenda? No. no? Okay. Is there a motion to adopt the agenda? I I'll move to adopt the agenda. Sandy? I'll second that, Valerie. Any discussion? No? All in favor? Aye. 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 Wait, who, oh. who made that motion? <laughs> it was Marty. Marty, all right. I thought so, but I couldn't tell. All right, Marty and okay. all right. Val seconded. Right. All right. OK, so we all approve. It's a, Adoption of the agenda is all approved. Let's go yeah. down the line. Deborah? Yes. Valerie? Yes. Diane? Yes. Sandy? Yes. Connie? Yes. Uh, let's see who next. I'm looking at the list here. Marty's a yes. Marty's a yes. yes. And Peter's yes. Okay. Adoption of the minutes for two, March 2020. Is there a motion to do that? I move that we approve the minutes. I'll second the motion. Who's it, who is who? Tell me who you are. Yeah, you Diane who? said move it. And who said And second? Marty seconded it. Okay, thank you. Any any discussion? All in favor? Peter says yes. Connie? Yes. Deborah? Yes. Valerie? Yes. Diane? Yes. Marty? Yes. And Sandy? I abstain. I wasn't there. Okay, so you abstain. Okay. Uh, let's see. Financial review. Is there a motion to pay the bills for March 2020? I'll move we pay the bills. Who's I'll that? Marty. Who seconds? Connie. All in favor? Sandy? Aye. Marty? You? Aye. Diane? Yes. Valerie? Yes. Deborah? Yep. Connie? Yes. And Peter? Yes. Okay, it's been approved. 
Angela, your report. Alrighty. Wow. Okay. Um, I've been sending like long updates to the staff every week. Now it's been every week. It, in the beginning, it was every day, but now it's every week. And um, and I've been forwarding them to Peter just so he knows what we're up to. But I didn't want to fill all your heads with that. Um, but we've been busy, uh, definitely busy. Um, I've been following along with coronavirus updates from the state and the Department of Health and from STLS. We had a meeting about reopening. I think that was last week. Yeah, last week. And then this week, Brian has been working on a document for us that would instruct us what to do when to reopen. Um, he says they're having a statewide meeting next week about that. He thought he'd get this document done this week. And I'm like, how? So he, I'm, ex I'm expecting great things. Um, I've seen some model documents from other uh, states and I would imagine it's going to look like that. And it'll look like a lot of places where, you know, we, we do certain activities for a while. And then when the state says, okay, then do more activity, you know, you're hearing it all over, um, you know, you, there's, you know, curbside pickup and all that stuff. We'll find out what order we do it in and, and all that and the procedures that will be necessary. And um, just thinking ahead, uh, SDLS is working on a bulk purchasing for gloves and masks. That would be nice. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but uh, uh, Linda over at Dundee Library said that Long, is it John Long owns Longs? Jim Long. Jim, sorry. Jim told her he could get those for her. So we might be getting them from Longs if STLS doesn't have a state procurement of it. Um, I asked Randy to think about uh, a guard of some sort at the front desk area. I, I know you see different things at the post office and some of the stores. So he's thinking about that ahead of time. Uh, other activities, he gave me a little report of everything he's doing. He's doing a lot of stuff around here, which is pretty cool. The place is looking really um, sharp already. He's painting like a madman all around inside. And when it finally warms up, he's going to move outside and paint out there. So that'll be pretty cool. Let's see what else he did. Maybe. Um, let's see. He, I don't know if you got a chance to read Alexson and Sarah's reports. They, you can see they've been very busy. Uh, yesterday I worked here and Sarah comes in and does her, her um, story hours from here. And they're pretty quick and fast and dirty because I don't know how you get a two-year-old to pay much attention <laughs> to the computer. <laughs> it was pretty cute. And um, Melissa is working Melissa and Mary, but Melissa's taking on this project. She's working with ProAction has a home visitor program for families with vulnerable um, preschoolers. And I can't remember what it's called. Call it you. Like a head start. I don't know. Yeah. So she's working with them and STLS uh, put forth that they want to fund these projects where libraries prepare packets that the um, ProAction program delivers. They've been doing delivery and they also do, some of them do delivery through food programs. So the um, amount of people touching the stuff would only be Melissa and then the next person and then it, that would be it. And they, they've deemed that as safe. So SLS told us we could have $1,000. So these are gonna be the Taj Mahal 
of packages for these <laughs> kids. Um, I told I told to, Melissa go bananas. So we'll see. I told her to take pictures, so I'll send them to you and when they're finished. But I, it's a wonderful way to remind people that we're still here and supporting them. Um, Oh yeah, he's been outside trimming things and Randy. Da, 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 update. Yeah, trimming. He's doing the baseboard all over the place in here and the railings and just everything, painting it. Um Chronicle article. Uh yesterday in the Chronicle, Alex has a column in the opinion part about virtual programming and yep, I read it. It was wonderful. Yeah. Yep, I and then the Thanks, front Alex. page sorry. Thank you. The front page uh article about nonprofits were the last part of that on page eight, the library, and that's I just listed everything that we're doing there and um all our contact information. Um We got a report from STLS that had just last week's uh, online downloadable use, you know, ebooks and audiobooks and all that. And it was way up for us and many other libraries. It was expanded. And uh, STLS and other libraries, STLS and Shemong put forth $16,000 and then all us small libraries are putting forth different amounts of money. And I told them to go ahead and bill us for 500 to add to the ebook and all that. So we got, we got those bills already. And uh, <laughs> so they bought those books. And um, so the, the collection is expanding, thankfully, which is really exciting for this time. Um, initial reports, how? Okay, Brian uh, reported that um, right away the budget, I didn't, I didn't remember, does anybody know, was the state budget passed? Yes. That, okay, so they did cut the libraries, which really mm -hmm. stinks, but what do we expect? And Angela, you know that the governor also has the authority to do even more cuts within the cuts he's already done. Great. Right. Well, that anyways. that budget is a move, working piece. So, right. I mean, we're fully funded for a lot of stuff at the office, but nobody's really expecting to see that money. Oh, well. Yeah, I can't imagine with this going on that that's. That's yeah. going to happen to everyone. Right. Brian was positive about the next uh, construction grants, but that's next year. So, you know, it's been um, approved and everything, but who knows? Right. So, but on their level, they have been cut already, as TLS has. And, um, us in the okay so we usually get this little pass through check once a year for about four thousand dollars that might go away which would really stink too but there you are um in my report i re i you know i listed different things people are doing just to keep us going uh and staff are trickling in and out of the building and working on different projects, and staying away from each other. Um, it's helping us to stay a little sane. So uh, I think a lot of, the, and also you can also see from my report that I've attended a lot of meetings and um, if I'm, Don't know what to do with myself at home i'm listening to a lot of uh webinars and i'm previewing a lot of webinars to uh send to the staff so the staff is getting training during this time so and i think if you have any questions 
Angela, somewhere on the agenda, are we going to be talking about um, the budget and yeah. um, what that, I mean, we had this great plan for increasing salaries and I'm just really not sure that that's it's on there. It's on there. Okay. Yeah. Sunny. Oh man, this is not the right version of it. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. As long as we can, as long as you remember to talk about it, that's fine. Budget. Yeah, well, on the new business, it says budget vote. We could talk about it there. I'm sorry. It, it, somehow okay. I put it, brought up an old version here. That's okay. okay. No big deal. Okay. Any other questions about there. Angela's report? Thank you. Thanks, Angela. I'll get Oak. Okay, standing committee reports. Any finance committee discussion? No, but I do think we need to look at that whole budget thing. Yeah, I agree. You want to do that now or under new business? I well, wait, I'm a little confused about what we're looking at for the budget thing, because didn't we already approve the proposed budget? Yes, okay, we you did. guys saw the budget news in the new business, if that's all right? Or do you want to change? Well, I think this is my concern. You know, well, yeah, we approved a budget, but we also know that the chances, I mean, that budget may get approved, but all that money may not come in. Um, we scheduled a lot of I want to, I want to go over all that. I can, I yeah. can, but That's can we do it in new business? Cause whenever you want, I don't care. Yeah. Let's do that new business. Okay. Yeah. Um, there wasn't any committee work. I mean, I asked the policy committee to look over the quarantine right. thing. Okay. That's fine. Any, so there's no policy committee review? Nope. Yeah, they reviewed the quarantine closing. I'll okay. see below. And that's at the bottom here. Okay. And then um, building committee. Nope. We haven't done anything. Nominating committee hasn't done anything. Personnel committee. Okay, well, let's go. On. You guys have the newest version of the agenda. I'm sorry. I just. Don't have it on this machine. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're down to we're down to old business, and that's H B A C update, Angela. Okay. So when this started, I told Dom to uh, work on the contract that we will sign with. Um, what is the name of the company? I can't remember. Sure, Tom. Sure, Tom. I think it is. And he was, he got, oh, and Peter looked into all the uh, references, right? I looked into about six, five references. I called them in person and everybody was just terrific. Yeah. They were very positive. They, they asked them a lot of questions and they seemed to say that this company follows through and does a good job. Good. So Dom has filled in the boilerplate AIA contract agreement and i just have to sign it and send it back to him and then they can start when the pause ends <laughs> because it's they didn't already start if they already started that would have been cool but they didn't so so when when our when our pause ends they're going to start and we're going to be closed for a while well, no, I don't know when they'll start. We'll see, because their schedule is probably all messed up right now. So who right. knows when they'll show up? <laughs> so we're we're in we're good we're in a good situation to move forward. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get this done by the time we need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the good part is we have the money. So that's Are the there any any other questions about the HVAC? Okay, ADA compliance committee update. I, the plan was when we first closed that we would work on moving furniture. And so Randy has moved some furniture and our page, Dave Race is working on my weed list. And then we're gonna shift all the adult fiction in such a way that there won't be any more books on the bottom shelf so uh, i don't know how when that'll happen but that's 
what's happening right now. So. And that's it. Okay, and then the next one, old business scheduled salary projection planning committee meeting in for June. Yeah, let's not, that's, we got to talk about other stuff first. Because that depends on other things, so. Okay, you want to go down to new business? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about budget vote. Uh, Amy, uh, I, I think she couldn't get a hold of Katie at the school, or maybe she did get a hold, I can't remember. But she refigured out the budget vote calendar. And if the board, the board, this is what I suggest. The board can vote to have the budget, the new vote date would be June 30th. And then if you decide not to have a budget vote, then you can decide it in May. This way the calendar started and you're moving forward in hopes that um, positive, you know, outcome for ha that you want to have uh, a new budget. If we want to go with the same, you know, if the board decides to just go with the same amount of money as they we have this year, that's fine too. But I think it would be good to just plan at this point because we have another month, well, not quite a month of this, to see how things are going. So what, what you're saying is right now we're scheduled for a budget on the 30th of June. No, we aren't. You guys would have to do that tonight and then you can change your mind in May, most certainly. Okay. And if, but if you don't yeah. do that tonight, then we won't have a vote. So we probably need to vote on having a budget in June and next month, if we need to change that for some reason or change it, we can do it. Yeah, you can nix it next month. I just and think it gives us time to see how it's going. Not able to vote on a budget this year because of all the stuff that's going on. We would use the budget number from last year. And from what I understand is the budget number from last year will service us Okay, you know, as far yeah. as, because we're only about, um, we're about 2 point, 2 point something percent, 2.6 or 2.8% this year. And we still have, we have enough money to kind of cover yeah. what we need to cover if we don't get a new approved budget. I'm just saying this because it's in the news right now that various uh, libraries and things aren't going to have their vote, so. Oh. Well, mostly they're the small ones. I thought he had pushed, I thought the governor had pushed off all the school and library votes. To June. Yes. To June. Right. But I hadn't heard he had said anything about we weren't going to vote at all. No, no, no. That's up to you guys. Right. It's a, and then it's a, is he done anything about letting all the voting be done by absentee ballot or no? No, I don't yes. know. Yes, for the June 23rd uh, primary. It's really? all, it's, oh. it, it, it's all going to be absentee at this point. Oh my gosh, then this could be really, you know, that could work. Right, I mean, I, I think he, somebody would have to give us permission to do that. And I don't know whether that permission was granted for more than the primary. I think we'll find we'll find out. That's the thing. That's a, tonight, if you just say, let's have the new vote date on the 30th, then I'll have time to find out from STLS because they're the ones who pass down that information. Okay. Yeah, when, uh, what's the new uh, plan for votes in general? Right, because... Yeah. There needs to be an, I mean, the state's going to have to come up with a new plan for votes right. for the, I right. mean, for the schools and we just sort of tag on to the schools. Yeah. So it's going to be soon too, I would imagine. 
Yeah. So, so when this decision gets made, do we need to get together before the next board meeting? No, you, you just, if you say you want to do it tonight, Amy will start a new calendar. She already developed it and she'll start doing the legal uh, ads and stuff like we're doing it then. And if that fell apart, well, then it fell apart. Um, hopefully it won't. I can, I move that we hold our budget voting on June 30th, 2020. And I, this is Marty and I'll second the motion. Any discussion? Is there all, of, all those in favor, let's go down the list. Sandy? Yes. Valerie? Yes. Diane? Yes. Marty? Yes. Um, Honey? Yes. Deborah? Yes. Peter? Yes. So we're all in favor of having the budget vote on June 30th. Can I ask a question at this point? Did we get any new um, potential board members to run? Do we know? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I have a hard time with the lady's name because it's two last names, so I can't remember, but it's Elizabeth somebody, and she used to be a children's librarian here. Oh. She's planning to run. It's yeah. one person. We need another person to run. Um, um, Deb's running. Who? Who's Deb. running? Well, Deb's running. Uh, but well, I know that, but we need another one, right? Oh, you we have three vacancies. But, but Sandy's, Sandy, you're up, right? Yes, I am. And Mike. Sandy and Mike Sandy are both Mike up. Are up. So we need one more person to run. So if anybody knows anybody who's interested, let's let's go around. I've we've tried, we haven't, but it doesn't mean we can't stop asking. Yeah. Or even if there's Yeah, not I've talked time, to people. Um that you can appoint somebody. Yeah, we can appoint somebody. We can. That's probably your best idea right there because you don't want people going around getting signatures. Yeah, right. They literally can't. You no, know? right. Exactly. Okay, so if anybody knows anybody who wants, we'll all look, ask around. Right now it's hard to ask around, but we can do it. See what we come up with. Okay, let's see. What's the next one? Uh, reopening. Wait, New can business. we go back to the budget for one second, Peter? Go ahead. Though, and I have lost track. Though, you know, I think we didn't the budget we last passed have those incremental raises for everybody. No, it's um, this coming budget. Okay. Oh, the one that you approved to be voted on. So it would be yeah. next. When did that first? It was in phases, wasn't it? Yes, it would be yeah. half the raise July first, and then the other half. Uh, January 1st. But the problem is, even if your budget passes, you may not have as much money in your budget as you think you do. That's and those I'm raises worried. may not be possible. That's what I'm worried Why? about. Why? Well, I don't know what, what you've got in there that isn't all just your tax base. Do you have other, like state, what other money do you have in there? Oh, right. The state money is usually about $4,000. That's it. That's about it, okay. really. But your taxes? Taxes pretty much run the place. So, so my concern is mm -hmm. another round of cuts from the government. Right. right. And I don't really think, I mean, I would be, I would just warn everybody that this is the plan, but this could also be the plan because it's a real possibility that that money is going to be severely taken away, not just from not, libraries, but school districts, county governments. The, the state money, yes. Yeah. And yes. revenue money. You know, people aren't going to be able to pay their taxes. Oh, I know. So, but we would still get the same amount. The school has to collect and. Yeah, but you can't collect if no one's paying. I wonder how. Well, that but there'll be plenty of people to pay. I think that we have we can't really go back on the budget we've established. We can deal with problems once we even find out where we stand, right? And when we open. So I think that we have to move forward. We approve this budget. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna 
in the next weeks, I'm going to look at the money we have, you know, our budget now, our current budget, and any new expenses that are coming up and, and make a adjustment to show you guys, you know, just, we'll know more by, for sure, by May, uh, when are we meeting? The 21st. So we'll definitely know um, how we would do a vote. Well, you'll have a better idea. You won't definitely know anything. Right. We'll know something, but no, right. we won't know much. <laughs> I just well, the other thing is we almost always have an excess at yes. the end of a year. Oh, that's and what I wanted to not say. not being open, yeah. we'll, we'll have some more than we would normally have had because yeah. yeah, while we're doing things, we're not spending that same amount of money. Right, absolutely. Right. And that's important that we don't um, dig into it too much because we are going forward with the HVAC project. We're supposed to. So, um, but I don't think, I think we're in good shape. I really do. I think you just need to put out there to the staff, especially. Oh my God, they don't, I don't tell them about raises till, till they get them. Right, but going forward, I mean, you, this, this might work for this year, but I know. the recovery of the economy is gonna take more than six months. Um, I so gotta be projecting. I've already warned some of them about it. So, and I'm gonna put in my update that we're just, it's, we're on a wait and see right now. Okay. I just want everyone to be prepared and not freak out if things don't I don't happen. think they're going to freak out. Hey. I think they know. I, I think that's a good idea, Sandy. To let you people know. know that there's, it could be a risk. Yeah, yeah they know. They know. So. Yeah. Well, especially they might only get half of their raise. Right. Or no raise, you know. Well, I would say they've done above and beyond. And if we're talking only a change of $4,000, I don't think it's fair to say that they wouldn't get no, any. No, it would be quite a bit of a change if we didn't have the vote. That's what I was talking about. Right. Right. Yeah. That's the no. The four thousand dollars is all right. That's fine. I hope we don't get it because that's like. But you know, it does affect tiny libraries' budgets a lot more than it does ours. So, I don't. Well, time will tell, but I just think yeah. it, we need to know we're still a little bit of a moving target as far as funding. Totally. And I, they yeah. do know that. Okay. Yeah. Any more discussion on the budget vote? Okay. Reopening. So that I already talked about. We will have, in, you know, we will have direction from the powers that be on how to do that. I got a question. When the school, when the school says they're reopening, what does that mean? Are they opening classes? Right. We have to find out how what I, what it all means. We don't know. We don't know. So it could just be open and opening so staff can go in and yeah, so people can go visit. Because if they're going to open in June, let's say, June 30th, I mean, they're going to have summer classes, or does it mean, I was just curious of what the opening yeah. of the library is. I have no meant. idea. We don't know yet. Okay. They, they won't be open um, after their regular closing date. Right. They, they would have summer school if they could. Yeah. I guess the, the question yeah. is, what does it mean when the school opens? Yeah, I don't know what that means. That's, that time of year. That's a good question to ask. Yeah. Okay. I, I would take a wild guess that they're not going to have school the rest of the year. I don't know. I hope they do go back, but I have a feeling that regular school year is not going to go back. Maybe well, I think in September, I think. September. I think um, right now, I know Dundee is still planning to have summer school. That, so they're thinking that by that point, it may be okay. And it's a smaller number of kids and all that. But even that is kind of up in the air right now. But they're sort of planning. I mean, Dundee is not t telling us that they were not going to go back. They're going, you know, in two weeks. We'll right. See what right. But my, my gut and just kind of reading between the lines is we're not going back in, in June. 
Um, but they are trying to plan for summer as though summer school will happen. So I don't know, you know, what that does as far as libraries and schools being open and whatnot. But I think when they say schools open, that it would be open to students. Yeah, right. 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 That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think we would open before then. Before schools? Well, if the schools didn't open till September, I hope we can open. I think we'll be able to open in the coming weeks. It, you know, well, I mean, whatever open. That's means. all out of your your hands, guys, because right, that's exactly. all in the hands of the powers right. that be. Right, right, and whatever they say we can do we is will. what we're stuck doing. Right. So, you know, if it means um, only one staff person up front and roll, you know, uh, curbside service with an appointment, then that's what we'll do. You know, whatever right. it means, then we'll do it. You know, what, you know what Long's Books does? They're open and they just have a table out by the door. Yeah, a lot of stores I noticed that. We might do something like that. So. No, anyway. Okay, the next item oh, on can the Can I just say, on, on the, I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk. Am I allowed to talk during a meeting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just read a really, uh, a really great article from a librarian um, sort of opposing the notion of library curbside. And I know, like, things could change and, it, you know, science could tell us that it's safe down the road. But as far as what we know right now, um, and I had, I, I'd been kind of thinking about this and like, well, what is the difference between what we do and what, you know, restaurants who are still allowed to deliver and have pick up? Um, and the big thing is when you order something from a restaurant or a supermarket or longs, you're taking something away and you're not ever bringing it back. So yeah. It, mm. uh, you we take are away. different. We're different yeah, so that way. That's yeah. kind of the key thing that makes it a, like twice as yeah. For a library. Right. Yeah. It well, makes, that's it why makes the library more vulnerable. Right. Absolutely. And they yeah. talked about quarantining our stuff, you know, before it's loanable again. There's like all these different methods that we'll be using, I'm sure. Okay. The next item on the agenda, which isn't on the agenda that you have printed out, but it's the one you sent. It's just the quarantine closing. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry about that. I don't. I might have two different computers going, and I don't know where the files are. <laughs> okay. So did, has everybody read the quarantine closing? We're not, we're not going to approve it or anything. It's just new business. Um, and what it says is, one of my, is okay if I read it? Yeah. The full-time, permanent, part-time, or part-time Penyan public libraries employees are required to re remain absent because of the quarantine imposed by a government a governing authority. They will be granted leave with pay the period of required absence. Absence. Such pay shall cover the employee's routine hours, permanent part-time, and part-time hours will be based on an average of the most recent three typical pay periods. To be eligible for compensation during quarantine leave, full-time and regular part-time employees must be ready, willing, and able to work remotely on projects identified by the executive director. When performing tasks remotely, employees must log time work. And this is from the Penyan Public Library Bylaws. No, no, no. That, that's separate. It's a note that I put in there. It's separate. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we don't, we have to vote on this query? I don't think so. You can do it in, in May. Okay. And then another statement underneath, it says, from our bylaws, any proposals by committees that require full board action to be sent to all board members in writing in advance of the next meeting. We do want to update bylaws by the one month between introducing and improve new policies. Yeah, policy. that's my note. Like, do we want to down the line? Everybody has gotten Angela's yeah. agenda. And at the bottom is the quarantine closing. So I guess at the next meeting, we're going to vote on that, right? Yeah. I just like, we always did this thing where policies, you know, you waited a month. And I can't find where the rule is. Angela, I don't think it is, because I looked at the bylaws after I sent you that email. I'm like, where else would it be? I'm like, where are we coming up with this? So it's a great rule. So let's update those bylaws. <laughs> so, hey, hey. Is there any other discussion tonight? Is there a motion to adjourn? Oh, this is Marty. I'll move to adjourn. I'll second. Okay.
Diane. Diane, all in favor? Peter, yes. Aye. Valerie, yes. Aye. Aye. Everybody, aye. 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 Everyone's aye. Okay, and before we go, I would just like to thank everybody for being online tonight. Um, it's an interesting, challenging time, and um, I hope everybody's well, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon. Okay. Maybe we'll um, actually have a meeting in May. Would hope to so bring eternal. Sandy, don't leave yet. I got something. To, um, Sandy, we were thinking since we had so much money to make those packs, that you would probably get a pile of them. I'm sorry. To make what, honey? Those kits for to take home. That STLS is giving us a generous thousand. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, we'll give you a pile too. I said, I said, you know, like how could you? You couldn't. I don't know. We right. think there's 20 families in Yates County, but we're not sure. So, um, even so, I mean, if there was 20, what's a thousand divided by 20? I mean, they would be like really incredible. <laughs> so. <laughs> We can make more than 20. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Really cool. Yeah. Thank oh, you. And then one more thing. Yes, ma'am. I asked Rich Stewart and he dropped off a bunch of old um, political uh, yard signs. And okay. I'm making um, affirmative, um, you know, cheer up signs and yep. putting them on there. And then they'll be in the front of the library. So, Good. but okay, I'm putting I'll need it. I'm putting contact paper on them, and it takes so long to peel that piece of contact paper. I'm like, what am I doing? But I'm really happy to do it. So, good. We can all good. use it. Feels good. <laughs> well, thanks for everybody. Thanks for your work, Angela. Thanks for everybody else's work. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Stay safe, Bye. Norman. Bye. Bye. Okay, you guys too. Angela, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. Um, did we hear from Mike or Kristen as far as their attendance today? I'm surprised Kristen forgot. She was Me here too. signing texts today. So. Oh. So unexcused for and both. And then Mike. Them. Mike's unexcused. Yeah. I don't know why she forgot. But yeah, she even sent most of the stuff anyway, so. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to, I didn't want to put yeah. them in the wrong spot. All yeah. right, I'll send these to you, and if there's something that doesn't look right, let me know. Yeah. Um, and Peter, while you're still here, um, yeah. did I ever send you Angela's um, evaluation, director evaluation information? I think you did. I intended to email it to you, but I can't remember if I did. I think you did. I think I sent it back. Okay, hopefully, I like all the compiled stuff. I think so. You mailed it to me in regular mail. I thought. My I'll dad? double check. I know. I, I know. I answered it. Okay. So I'll all double right. check. Okay. Thanks. That was it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yep. Bye. Thanks for all uh, you do. No problem. You. You. Have a great you night, too. everyone. Bye. 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 Angela, when you end the meeting, it's going to automatically start. Um, I don't know if you've done this before to make the, the recording is going to like render. Um, so just let it run through that. And then um, okay. if you shut down the computer or anything, it takes a couple of minutes. Leave meeting? No, I want to end meeting. I think that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me know if you have any questions or anything about it later. Bye. Bye. Bye.